Hello, hello, y bienvenidos a mi canal. I cannot even believe I am saying those words. It's been well over a year since I've said those words. And uh, can I just tell you guys, a lot has changed. My son is about to be a year and nine months, and I recently had a beautiful baby girl a little over a week ago. So I'm very excited to be back. For those of you that are joining us, uh, brand new here on this channel, uh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Anel Nunez, and uh, this is Mami Ala Nunez, where we find all things mommy related. So if you're into that kind of stuff, please stick around, hit that subscribe button, make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you get alerted as soon as my videos come up. And uh, let me just say, I am very excited. I'm very excited to be back. I've got a lot of great ideas up my sleeves and I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy this as well. So stay tuned and hopefully we can make this happen the second time around. Um, in today's video though, I will tell you, we have some great information. I've got some great tips for you guys. Listen, we're in the midst of a pandemic where we're in quarantine and we can't go out. We're probably a little apprehensive about having people over at our house. Um, and so for that reason, I had to put together a DIY newborn photo shoot, which I think uh, turned out pretty great. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video on your way out. And also don't forget to share this video because it's the only way that people will know I exist. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. Adios. So before you begin anything, the first thing you want to do is regulate your AC so it's at a nice and toasty 78 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. During your shoot, your baby will be without clothes, you'll be changing outfits, and this will help your baby stay comfortable. You also want to make sure that you have all your props readily available uh, and your materials because the last thing you want to do is have to stop during the photo shoot to have to scout for items such as backdrops, a ladder, a blanket, etc. And don't be afraid to reference YouTube to show you how to wrap your baby in blankets and swaddles and all sorts of different wraps. Um, I certainly don't know how to do this. I'm not a professional and you're probably not a professional. So we're just trying to make this look as professional as possible. Go ahead and look up videos on newborn photography techniques or wrapping techniques rather uh, and that should be definitely helpful you know although babies outfits and props are quite important it is also very important that you pay attention to the outfit that you pick out because you are going to be maneuvering this baby and it might get a little hot for you so be conscientious of that and make sure that you are picking something that is comfortable Now another great tip is to use natural sunlight for your photography. You probably notice I'm right by a window. All the windows in my household are open and that provides optimal lighting for my photography session. You will have to pause during the photography session, whether it be to feed, whether it be to soothe the baby, um, or whether it be to put the baby down for a nap. Either way, you need to make sure that you allow yourself enough time so that you don't lose out on the opportunity of having the sunlight aid you in your photography session. Now, I think the best tip that I can give you guys is to use your smartphone. I personally have an iPhone 11 Pro. You don't need anything fancy. Simply set your camera functions to the finest settings. So if you have an iPhone like me, all I did was go into the camera settings, click formats, and then high efficiency. Lastly, as any great photographer would do, you want to edit your photos. Now feel free to use any app you'd like. My personal favorite is the Photoshop Express app, and I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Now I'm selecting the picture of my choice here, and I'm going down to the filters that have already been provided for me, and I'm selecting basic and spring. Spring is my favorite because it's the perfect amount of light. And then I play with it. I either add more brightness to it or I make it a little darker, but you can select whichever filter you'd like. And here you have it. We have the before and the after. 
bear in mind that your goal here is to capture these unforgettable moments that you will forever be able to look back on and uh, yeah, have fun while doing it. I really hope that this video served as a tool that will help you in achieving your DIY newborn photo shoot. And if you like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your loved ones and friends. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great one. Adios.